Alright Making Bone Gang, I'm sure you've noticed if you've been uh, sticking with the channel a lot that I've been doing a lot of videos where I go out and I'm only fishing with one bait or one particular kind of bait. Well today's one of those videos. We're going to be sticking with the Monster Bass Slick Stick 99, so like a shallow water uh, jerk bait. And we're only going to be fishing with this unless we pop off and lose it. No! No! Which is, you know, always a possibility. Got some extra lures just in case. Now you might be asking yourself, Hey, why do you do that? Why do you go over there? Well, it's for a reason, and I'm going to tell you right now. Well, it's for a couple of reasons, actually. One is, I'm not really that comfortable with a jerk bait. I haven't really used it a whole lot. So when I take a bait like that out and only fish with it, it uh, helps build confidence, helps you learn how to use it. Um, you're not thinking about, man, I should be fishing with this, I should be fishing with that, because it's pretty much all you got and it makes you do it. So that's pretty much the main reason. The other one is to show you guys the bait, see how it works, see if it's worth a darn or not, see if it's worth you, uh, you know, purchasing it or, or if it's junk. All right, quick look at her out of the box. Love this uh, paint job color thing, whatever this, this uh, iridescent silver. It's gonna look just like a bait fish in the water. All your monster bass baits have a red treble hook in the front, a little red belly, a little shallow water floating jerk bait. I don't know what that was. Oh, 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 we had something hit it. I don't know what that big boom was, but that, uh, sound like it hurt. It's got a rattle. And if you're not familiar how to fish a jerk bait like this, you're just gonna, you're gonna throw it out, preferably along a grass line, like I'm throwing across these lilies right here. And what I'm gonna do is get the grass off of it. I'm gonna toss it over there on that edge. And as I retrieve it, I'm gonna give it a little a little too jerk, give it a pause. Maybe, oh, oh, wait, hold on, we'll get to that in a second. Oh man. That's not what I wanted. Another daggum garfish, come on. Where was I? Oh yeah. So again, you throw it out, and then when you retrieve it, you're gonna give it a couple jerks, a little two pops, let it sit for a second, one pop, two pops, maybe a third, let it rest, pop, 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 pop pop and that thing's gonna just dart like that and then it's gonna stop and kind of start floating up and that's gonna represent a dying bait fish and then bass or garfish in this instance gonna snatch a doodle it most of the time it's gonna be on that pause or right after the pause on that jerk they're gonna take off with it and if you're fishing those deeper diving uh jerk baits like that sometimes you're gonna cast them out there give it a couple cranks to get it to dive to the depth that you want it and then you can start working it like like i'm doing this one but this one only dives maybe a foot foot and a half at the most so really a couple jerks and it's already down to that level you know what i mean hope that was helpful hope that made sense all right moving on oh we got something about to blow up on it what is that dang did you see that that was a big wake we just missed something it was ginormous oh there we go oh he feels like a decent one hope he's swimming to me nope not a decent one but a bass nonetheless. This is actually the second one I caught. I was on the phone with my wife earlier and for some reason didn't have the GoPro on. Oh, oh, oh. All right, buddy. That's not where you want to be hooked. There you go. He hit right there in the center on that red hook. There you go. Just tossed it out. I was going right along this uh, lily line and he come up and got it right at the top. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. And when you're fishing these things, also always try and uh, change up the retrieve, change up the speed. Let the fish dictate what they want. If you're moving it at a certain speed and you get more bites than others, stick with that. And uh, there you go. And that's pretty much with any bait. I like to change it up as you go, because you never know. And guys, do yourself a favor and whoever you might be fishing with, no matter how juicy of a spot this looks, if you see a wasp nest like that, don't cast. Because you're going to either mess up and cast it in the tree, or you're going to catch a huge fish and he's just going to drag you right into that tree. Oh, look, it used to be one big one. Now it's like a couple of them. And eh, it's not something you want to get into. That'll ruin your day real quick. I don't want nothing to do with that. Sheesh. Did y'all see what that was? Cause I didn't. Big old splodoosh. Got some bluegill following it. Oh, there we go. Oh no, no. He was right in the middle of that grass. I seen a flash. I don't know what he was, though. I think it was a bass. Felt like a bass. But we'll never know. Why does this happen? I gotta go risk my life at the front of the boat. Whoa. Come on. Let 
Man, these hobies are stable. Could have never done that in my sin. Oh, something, something just hit it. There it goes. There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. Look, right there, that middle hook too, that red hook. How did you get hook in the split ring? That's a first. Where's my other camera? Oh, it's on my head. Duh. There you go. Another jerkbait bass. Right there on that center hook. That front hook. I don't know if it's because of the way it's located, or I don't know if it's because it's red, but that's what they're going for. Take that information and do what you want with it. He hit that one on the pause, because I didn't even feel the hit. I just seen the flash. And then when I went to crank it in a little bit, that's when I felt him. Ow. Take it. Seen that bait just then go sideways all of a sudden. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh crap. See, I just casted it and I came just inches away from that tree right there. I didn't see that wasp nest that's up in there. Good thing is, if I did catch one and it get pulled under there, it's kind of high enough to where I probably, probably wouldn't get hit by it. But uh, that's one of them things you just don't want to take that kind of chance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's another healthy one right there. I hope you can see it on the camera, man. That's some, the whole bottom of that thing's nothing but walls. May screw that, yes. Another quick tip with this thing is you definitely don't want to fish just straight braid. I'll always fish with braid and then I'll put a leader on there if necessary. And with these jerk baits, it's pretty much the same thing as those walking baits. Because it's jerking and you're getting so much slack in your line every jerk, that uh that braid is so subtle, supple, subtle, supple, supple. Yeah, supple's the word. Come it. And uh, you know, it'll bend and you end up getting it hung on that hook a lot. You're still gonna get it hung up every now and then, but if you're using uh your feet in this. <sighs> but if you're using mono or fluoro, it'll happen a lot less. Oh shoot! Jeez um. That was a garfish. Seeing his tail flapping. Good night. That was a heck of a tug though, I'll tell you that. Ooh, sun's getting low. We ain't gonna have much more time here. Oh, that was a good hit. Dude hit it like a truck. Same thing right there at that treble hook, hitting them in the right spot. They definitely hitting this bait in the right spot. They wanting it. Keying right in on that middle. There you go. Healthy little guy. We don't catch a whole lot of biggins down here in southeast Louisiana. In these tidal waters, bayous, and canals. But that's alright. They still fun to catch. Hey! Oh, ooh, ooh. something get it? Nope. I don't know what that was. Anytime I miss one, it's a garfish. Whether it's a garfish or not. Yeah. I think there's some garfish attacking it under the surface. Because you can feel it, do do do. But they're not getting hooked. That's that bony mouth they got. Keep on messing with me. Stop messing with me. Unless, of course, it's bass and I just don't know how to set a hook. And I suck at fishing. It's always a possibility, I guess. This here's Clotilde. She's my new friend. guys in the comments below if you like this kind of video we did the whole uh, tips and how to kind of thing with the bait or if you just want me to shut up about all of that and just get right back to fishing but that's pretty much going to wrap this one up folks but before you go make sure you click on this video if you want to see another one of those videos where I you know take a particular bait out to go fishing but thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it the bone gang is the best gang make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you on the next one me and Clotilde